Hey, it's Misty, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM 2. Um, I'm just starting this, uh, mission. I have eight turns to get the power converter. Just continuing from last time. This is pretty much recorded right after the last episode. Okay, here we go. You can actually move up far enough to get a little bit of vision. Oh, but we are concealed, so it's not too big a deal. Maybe I should move a little further? Eh. I'm just kind of scared to move too far. I definitely want you up in the front, though. You have a shotgun. Good to go. I didn't see anything, so it's pretty safe to move up, I think. I don't want to move in the fire, though. Okay, since you can get up here, move up here. Getting it done. I need to hurry, but I also need to be careful. So it's kind of annoying. Um, gonna have to put you in no cover. But this should take you at least out of line of sight, mostly. Just in case I see something. I'm gonna go over here. I kinda wanna scout ahead just to see. I didn't see anything. Um, let's see... You... Where is it? It's up there. You go here first. I want to see if I get vision on anything. Yeah, I got a couple of things. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Commander, we have a chance to do some serious damage here. Before jumping into combat, let's make sure we make the most of our advantage. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay. I'm flanked by them, so if I uh, if I end my turn and start the next one in that position, I will get out of concealment. So I'm just going to go behind this full cover for right now. On the move. Okay. I need you forward. Let's hope I don't see anyone else. I don't think I did. Let's see, that's flanked. This tree is full cover, I could use that. I'm all over it. You I'm a little hesitant to put you too far forward in case they come back here. But I think I need to get behind this full cover. Okay, let's see where they go. Yeah, they're going over there. I'm not sure I'm going to have vision of them. I have vision of one of them with somebody. See so you. What's your shot? 68. It's not great. Let's see. I think I'll put you here. That doesn't give you vision on either of them. Put you here. You just don't have vision either. That's okay. I may not start out with uh, shooting. See you. I really want you in full cover, but I have to dash to do it. Maybe if I put you here? Where's the thing? It's over there. Here, you overwatch. Overwatch. You overwatch. Got a cover. And you overwatch. Formative covering now. Can you get a grenade over there? You can hit the com the officer, but I really need you to hit the other unit too. 
Oh, this is dangerous if I put you up here. Actually, I'm gonna put you over here. That's also dangerous. You're only in half cover. But I need this grenade over here. I'm pretty sure I can hit one of them from here. I think I hit the officer. I don't think I could have hit the other one, too. These guys yeah, they were too far away. The advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well-equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Okay. You're flanked. That's not good. Let's see you. Rangers are uniquely equipped for close quarters combat. In the right situation, they can prove highly effective. Yeah, melee is pretty good if you can get it off. Only 88% chance, though. Uh, let's see. If I go up here, I might be able to shoot him in the face. I need to take this guy out, though. What's your chance on him? 29, 27. If you go over here, do you have a better chance? I'm really scared of popping another pod. Okay, that's just a device. You should be able to hack into that thing's safety protocols and stabilize it. Shen is uploading the fix right now. I've been troops here. Ah, crap. Okay, what's your best shot? 51 on this guy. You know what? Take it. Ah, crap. Target still up. Okay. I need rid of this guy, so I might just melee him. I could just shoot him, though. Well, let's see what I get from here. That's affirmative. Okay, 100% chance to kill him. Alright, go away. I'm probably going to be flanked by this guy next turn. Target eliminated. But I didn't want to be flanked by two people. Okay, let's see. You have a 38 on him. A grenade may kill him, but it's also not guaranteed, so I'm going to have to be careful. You don't even have a shot on him. I kind of want to move here and shoot him, but I'm not sure. Well, if I, if I need to, I can move back. Moving. All right, what's your shot on him from here? 85? That's good enough. That is incredibly unlikely. Not good. All right. But it does force him to move. So if he doesn't move, he'll be... He'll, he'll be flanked. On yeah. Move. You move back here. You do have a shot on him. Try and take this 51. I need units off the field. Okay, that was good. That was good. I might lose Jane Kelly. Hey, you got a promotion. Okay, he's flanked, so he has to move. He's flanked... I'm just marked, that's okay. He's flanked, so he has to move, and he's gonna flank us. Yeah, I figured that was happening, and I figure I'm gonna get hit and probably die. Wow, I didn't die. You can you can generally take a hit on a soldier in a mission. You're not so like screwed if you don't get uh if you get hit on the first turn, not really first turn, but you know, 65 to try and kill this guy, try and take it. Okay, that was awkward, but I'm not complaining. Move up here. I don't think you can get a grenade that far in, but maybe 25 on the officer. You can get a grenade that, but you're destroying my other unit's cover. Okay. 
I know that guy can die then, so I'm going to take a turn to try and get some better angles on the officer. Let's see, Slash, not you. Uh, that's risky. That's really risky. I don't think there's anyone up there, but there might be a sectoid, and that's what scares me. Um, let's see. He has a grenade, but it won't nearly do enough damage. So you go over here, actually. You still have a shot at this guy. Can't kill him, though. I think I grenade this guy and then try and kill the other one. Well, I need to... I need to take that shot, I think. Uh, I really want to get up there, but I'm just so worried about popping the next group of enemies. I'm pretty sure there's another group over here. Can't see them, though. What's your shot chance? 71 on that guy, 26 on that guy. The thing is, I think he's gonna die anyway. So I don't really want to take a chance to shoot him. I need to get around his cover, but the only way to do that is with Slash. I'm really likely to die if I pop another group of enemies. Hmm. 25. I think I do this. Uh, can I just get it a little... Yeah, maybe if I go up a little? I just... I want to try and not destroy the cover, but I think I can't. So I'm just going to throw the grenade. Two, four, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I actually can't kill him with slash even that even then. So it only does up to three to five damage. I thought it did six to eight. Or maybe you need to upgrade it first. Um I think we try and take him out from range. The problem is, she's, like, not really in good cover. If he moves over here, she's getting flanked. This is a difficult choice. You're in good cover, and you might as well take your shot. Because you can't move up and throw your grenade. It's unlikely to hit... Actually, let's overwatch with you. You might have a better shot on an Overwatch. You also Overwatch. And just see how it goes. Okay, that was actually the best thing that could have happened. Commander, we're running out of time here. If we don't stabilize the converter soon, I don't think anybody's going home today. Okay. We have to get up there and stabilize the thing in three turns, so as much as I hate it, I kind of have to push. Yeah, uh, where's the... You have a grenade. I think if you go here, you'll be okay. 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 Grenade. Is you can hit him and destroy his cover. You can't destroy the actual cover I'd want to destroy because we kind of need that thing. This is for you. Boom! 
three damage. And if he moves, he... No, he's not quite going to be on fire. Yeah, he's still in good cover from that angle. I think I go over here, actually, and try and shoot him. But I might want to do that with you. You can't get up there. I'll still be in good cover if I go here, at least. Okay. That's a much better chance, so... I could throw the grenade, but it's so unlikely to... Actually, I'm going to try and just do a little more damage. With... Let's see... You? You can get up to here. Go over there and see if you have a better shot. That's what I was waiting for. To the sectoids first encountered during the invasion. Their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. I need to kill this guy. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Taken care of. Okay, you actually get behind this thing so you can have a turn to hack it next turn. Okay, you get up here. Roger that. See if you have a shot. You do not. So you go on Overwatch. Scanning. See what's happening. Hopefully, the sectoid just reanimates somebody. That's probably not really what I wanted to. Mind control or panic? Help! Help! Someone help! Panicked. That's probably the best. Come on, shoot at somebody and hit them. Oh, dang it. At least you shot at somebody. Okay, the other ones are just Advent Troopers. They could still kill someone. Like her. That's really lucky. And the other guy... He's probably going to shoot and kill Jane, though. Yep. Oh, that's incredibly lucky. Uh... Oh, okay, that was just a truck exploding. Oh, but the sextoid got hurt because of that. That's awesome. Okay. You need to hack this thing. It's worth a look. Even though it's on fire, I'm sure it'll be okay. Uh, uh, it's very, very, very unlikely I do anything. Yeah. There was no way that was happening. Gotta roll a 100 on that D100. Well done. Readings are returning to normal. Well, mostly normal. Firebrand is en route, but I wouldn't take any chances. Eliminate all remaining hostiles in the area before evac. No one's on Overwatch, right? No. Okay. Hmm. Who's got the grenade? You have a grenade, and that's it. Let's see, I can't hit two of them at once. But I can... She's probably going to start burning next turn. I can get rid of the sectoid at least. I'm going to guarantee getting rid of the sectoid. She's... actually... You're flanked, you have to get into a better position. You go here, you might be able to kill this guy. Yeah, you have a much better shot at... No, no, you have a better shot at... That's weird. I thought you'd have a good shot at this guy. You do have a good shot at him. Not as good as this one, though. So you might as well take... Actually, I need to check my other moves first.
Where's my, uh... Oh, there you are. You're panicked, that's right. Uh, hmm. You have a 26 on this guy. You move here, do you have a shot on the other guy? I might as well take this flanking shot. Please hit. Please don't miss again. <sighs> Jane, you have got such a low miss chance. Or high miss chance. You had a low miss chance, but you missed anyway. I can't really move and shoot, so I'm going to have to shoot. And this is my best shot. This is going horribly. I can't really move into a better position. Everything is either flanked or less cover, so I'm going to have to take this shot. Actually, you overwatch, because it might give you a better shot, and he might... Oh, I didn't even realize the car was on fire! Uh, well, never mind. I lost my, uh, lost my ranger. You resurrecting my ranger as a... Yep. Zombie? No respite for the dead. The aliens have found a way to mind control them now. Oh, come on. That is not good. Well, at least that missed. That was close. <sighs> I can't move. Fire getting close here. Panic removed. Yay, panic removed. I don't want to shoot you. Hmm. Can I get a grenade to hit both of them? I think the answer is no. I can hit him. I can just barely graze both of them, but I'm gonna do it. Get ready for a surprise. Nice! That at least gets rid of the sectoid and that zombie that was previously my person, but that's okay. Okay. Now I just need to get rid of these two. It's not a bad shot, but I can probably get better with you. Not really in a good position. He'll be flanked anywhere you go. I'm gonna shoot with you, because you're in good cover. That's unfortunate. I'm going to shoot with you. Come on, hit, please hit. Nice, and it killed. Okay. He, he probably won't move over here. I'm not flanked, am I? No. Okay, now the, the truck's on fire, so I need to be careful about that. Getting a little toasty here. That's okay. That's okay. Roger that. You go over here, see if you have a shot. You have a flanking shot. Please kill him. Please end this mission. Thank you. Enemies down. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Uh, that 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 soldier killed was entirely my fault for not realizing the far, the far the car was going to blow up. Till most damage, most under fire, moved furthest. Yeah, Jane Kelly. I'm sorry, Jane. Made most attacks. Ben Clark. Retoining to base. This is also going to take a little a little while because it's just. 
So poorly optimized. Come on. You can do it, Sky Ranger. You're almost there. Come on. Please? There we go. See the Sky Ranger come in. A little bit of blue dots there. Here we go. A few of our people earned well deserved promotions, Commander. I'm guessing Shen will probably want to have a word with you, too. Let's see what you become first. Operating some of our most advanced equipment, specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. Soldier promoted to a specialist. Serving as our demolitions experts, the Grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Soldier promoted to Grenadier. And... Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Soldier promoted to Sharpshooter. Alright, we'll continue on there. Should prove useful in our ongoing efforts against the aliens. When you have a moment, Commander. I have made some interesting discoveries as they relate to the implant we removed from you earlier. Why are you all just standing around? They're kind of scared of it, I guess. Come on, let's get it inside. It did almost blow up on us, you know. Let's go down to engineering. Get some of the story out of the way. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from your old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. <laughs> Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You were probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. I can't promise any miracles, Commander, but I should be able to put some of the stuff together in no time at all. I'd suggest we get started with the med kit. It'll probably come in handy sooner rather than later. It uh, probably still wouldn't have saved Jane, but Commander. yeah. Looks like Tygen has made progress on his research. We should meet him in the lab. All right. Much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had no. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. 
Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. New objective added. Okay. The Advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. Alright. Uh, first things first, we're going to do modular weapons. We find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Looks like Shen got that converter up and running, Commander. We're ready for you on the bridge. All right, on the bridge. You stay clear of the perimeter. Understood. Commander, good. I think we got something here. Despite all of Advent's efforts, there are still people who refuse to believe their lies. And it's time we let them know they're not alone. We've already located a target for our first operation. Sir, given our current location, there's actually no way the Sky Ranger could reach that position. Who said anything about the Sky Ranger? Shen. Status report. Are we ready? Short answer? Yes. But you might all want to hold on to something. That is awesome. Setting course for the West Asian Corridor. Starting in Asia this time. West Asia. We're ready to start making moves, Commander. By hitting Advent wherever we find them, we can help strengthen the resistance. In return, they'll contribute material and personnel to support our operations. And we'll review the target. Uh, you got an engineer, that's really nice. Protect the device, okay. So we'll confirm that for now. It looks like Shen prepped a med kit for us. We should equip one of our soldiers with it before they deploy. Just gonna remove everyone here. Let's see, I want... Deer... Specialist, I'm going to have to take a rookie. Alright. Can I... I can't get out of here. I'll give it to the specialist. Yeah, I can't get out of here, so I'm going to have to launch the mission and then save. That's fine. Sky Ranger deployed. The squad is ready to deploy on your order, Commander. Begin the mission! I'm not actually going to do the mission in this episode. We already did one. A hacker working for the resistance installed a data tap along the Advent network in this area, and the data they're retrieving is critical to the aliens' latest operation. Recon suggests the aliens are already moving to destroy the device. That data is too valuable to lose, so we're moving in to secure the area, eliminate all hostile contacts, and protect that gear. All right, we'll do that. Protect the device, but 
Operation Night Fist. Even though this is probably going to take the uh, place during the day, it's Operation Night Fist. I don't know, it might take place during the night. No, it is taking place during the night. Okay, so that's kind of appropriate then. Hostile forces are already moving to destroy the data tap installed nearby. We need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. How far away is it? It's pretty far away. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Catch you next time, and have a good one.